In this video, we'll take a look at improvements in Perfoot 6's performance dashboard and its support for SLI-enabled machines. As you can see, there are several graphs on the dashboard which show your GPU's utilization in real time. The performance dashboard can also control the speed of your application by allowing you to pause or unpause your application by hitting the Enter key, or slow it down or speed it up by using plus or minus. Now this feature is really useful because especially in games there are many fast effects that will last only a frame or two and can be difficult to examine the exact frame the effect occurs without speed controls. For instance, take a look at how I can examine the muzzle flash effect simply by slowing down time. One of the big new features in Perfut 6 is SLI support. And in the performance dashboard, this support takes the form of a new real-time graph, the SLI graph. Simply right-click and select the new SLI graph option. And there you go, an SLI graph appears, and now we can visualize any GPU counter we choose. Now, an SLI graph is a little different from the normal GPU driver graph in that you can only visualize one counter per graph. However, you can visualize that counter across every GPU in your system. But what that means is that you're going to need to create one graph per counter you want to visualize. Take a look also at the special SLI options at the top of the graph. These options determine how your SLI signals get displayed, whether they're displayed separately or using a function like the average or the sum of the counters. Now we've created two new SLI graphs and it'd be nice to save them. To do that, right click and select Save Layout. Let's call this one SLI Layout. Perfut 6 adds the ability for us to save multiple named custom layouts. So if we are using the default layout, like so, and realize we want more information, we can change to the saved layout in just a click. That's it for the new features in Perfut 6's performance dashboard. Thanks for watching.